Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. Hello, my name is Mike, and today's show is brought to you by our Amazon page. Please remember to shop at MikeOmeraShow.com slash Amazon. It's quite simply the best way to support this show. If you need it, Amazon has it, and you can get it at MikeOmeraShow.com slash Amazon. Bookmark it, please. Available on demand every day in iTunes and the Google Play Store and around the world on MikeOmeraShow.com. What more can we do for you? It's the Mike O'Mara Show. Family is here. Family, family, family. I love it when my family comes to visit. However, yes, it has been documented and well known for quite some time that uh, my family uh, is female dominant. You have many women in the family, and uh, uh, we men kind of get pushed to the side. And when I talk about my family, I have my sister and my mother. My father no longer with us. Right. And then I have my daughters, Catherine and Elizabeth. Both and, daughters are female. And then I have my wife, who happens to also, uh, the last time I checked, she is a female <laughs> she as is well. She is a lady, yes. So uh, I have brought a penis into the fold with my young son, but he is unfortunately... Do you want to rephrase that? I because only, out of context, well, it sounds awful. Uh, no, well, the fact is that, uh, you know, there's another, you know, you want to have a room full of uh, men. You yeah. want to have men in there, and the and fact sometimes is... sometimes those men want to bring their penis into the fold. <laughs> well, the, you know what? Yeah, yes. But I mean, what I'm saying, he's 19 months, and I won't, I won't have him as a supporter until years down the road when I may be, you know, suffering from uh, it may be, God knows it, what ailment. It may be ailment. too late by then. It might be mm, too late, yes. and I accept that reality. God forbid. But, uh, you know, and I love my family. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> God forbid. God forbid. So far, everything doing well, thank God. <laughs> uh, but anyway, God. <laughs> so I don't know. what. It, last night was uh, a very, very nice evening. My sister arrived. She stayed with my niece's parents, uh, uh, my my niece's husband's parents, uh, the my niece's in laws, for one night, and she's going to spend the Where rest of the week live? with us. Do they live? They're, they're right around the corner. They're within stone's throw of my place. Do you socialize and, with them? Uh, well, we did last night. We went out to dinner uh, oh, over nice. at their place, You're and it was yeah, really, yes. really terrific. Uh, it well, done. yeah, it, and they're they're super beyond nice. We've met them on a couple of occasions. Too cool. Really, really great people. And so that was fine. And then Kathy loaded up with us. And then it was off to uh, to our little domicile where we sat down and it's Carla and my sister and me. And I know that at some point, in one way or another, I will uh, I will have to duck for cover. I just know it's going to happen. Well, the dynamic has existed as long as you've known Carla that yes. you know that she will take strength of the others and it becomes two on one, right? Well, and also you have to realize, I realized when my sister sat down here uh, last night that because of the life we live outside of this vehicle of talking to you guys, we were like hungry wolves. Yes. We were like little kids that were playing show and tell. We wanted to talk like a, a, a young child would talk to his mom or dad. But dad, sure. let me tell you what I did at school. You know, you almost manic that way. Oh, my way. God. And when it turned, and I knew when it turned, was uh, when the subject of weight came up, oh. which is one of my family's one of my family's favorite favorite like subject. Like how much you're bench is, pressing these days? Is, is, uh, no, not I wish, Oscar, but unfortunately About that was not. About having like if you're in a long line at a grocery store? No, not a wait. No, not wait time. <laughs> oh. Not waiting in the airport. No, right. not that. It's uh, my weight. Oh. And now Kathy brought the subject up. Well, she's your in sister. a roundabout. You know, in a roundabout way, not directly. What were you guys talking about? It was uh, truck she stops said, and truck scales. You know how uh, the <laughs> doctor that's going to help with my plumbing. Yes. Ah, your health. Yeah, your internal said, health. Yeah. Said take some weight. You know, now that I'm thinking about this, I brought this all on myself. Oh, of course no, you did. What happened? You pulled an absolute Ralph Cramden last night. My you, Irish guilt. You, you brought it on yourself, and then you sit right. there and simmered, and so then you could yell, you know what, Kathy? You are a blabbermouth. <laughs> a blabbermouth, Alice. <laughs> You're a blabbermouth. Wait, Mike, how did but you- But it was not Kathy. Kathy is not at fault here. How did okay. you bring it up then? Yeah, how did, uh, how did you steer we're it We're sitting direction? there. We talked about everything. We catch up. We want to find out how everybody's doing. And then she said, then how's your health? Where do you stand right now? Because Kathy knew that when we last checked, uh, <laughs> I was getting out of the hospital. And I have the gut issues. Right. And then How I went on this. How is her rotator cuff? 
Because I know uh, she's coming off that, surgery. It's a long rehab for that. Damn man. it. If you get that done, that is a long, long rehab, which mm. surprises me. I would think it would be less than that. But yeah. uh, she's doing all these crazy kooky exercises. <laughs> and uh, and she can only pick up my uh, my little guy with one hand. And I kind of freak out about that. And because, I imagine you know. also she needed some help with the luggage. Help me yes. with the bags, dear. Yeah, I, well, you know, I did. The, the and I did. But she's, you know, my sister's a go-getter. And she, okay. I, don't, I don't mind that. But the fact is. It was, how's your health? Well, we went to see I'm on this uh, low residue diet. I said, but to be honest with you, the low residue uh, is a challenge as far as the calories. And Carla at that point said, no, it's not. <laughs> and uh, as and I knew and I saw oh, the uh, I saw the twinkle in the eye where she was going to commiserate. And uh, yeah, exactly. It was kind of the uh, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> and I, I was really uh, on the defensive. And then it went on a little bit longer. And then it went on a little bit longer, and there was, was a little it? white wine consumed. But and what was the most Then it was like, oh, you're drinking again. Yes, I am Whoa. drinking again. Thank you. It was just a little bit Did you uh, explain difficult. that she might not have been invited down if you were not drinking? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny. I'd love to turn this on uh, on my sister, but you can't, uh, can she's you? a great house guest, and the fact is it's the combination. It's the chemicals together. And by the way, they're off uh, later on today to uh, uh, lunch with some ladies. Of at, course. At, uh, uh, yeah, that's that's their little thing. Do you think that do. you had, in at least the back of your mind, had a situation laid out where they were going to attack you, so you went on the offensive? No, because you say no, you I brought it on there. yourself. What was the most, I know. What was I the most know. hurtful barb? <laughs> Uh, the the overall By the discussion. Way, she used uh, to be on afternoons on WAVA. <laughs> Hurtful Barb. She was great. I, I think Carla's comment, and it's probably not a direct quote because I hear, you know, I hear what I want to hear. Yeah. And yeah. you know how you guys know this. Oh. You've been on the receiving end of this, where I hear the negative, yes. where I really want to hear that. And Carla said something, and this is what I heard that was like, I really can't help him anymore. Oh. And that was when I was just, uh, you know. That's when I, I, I just looked up and I was like, oh, my, my uh, FML. I was very, very sad and uh, also a little angry looking at her. And she's like, don't give me those eyes. Oh, and it was just no. uh, it's like yeah, that so part, that was my lovely evening. That part know? in the movie where um, like a lifelong of caretaking just can't go on. You're usually about two right? thirds of the way through, right? Yeah. <laughs> Carla Michael is on Mary's a heart in the stars. <laughs> <laughs> Carla is on a low carbohydrate diet. Yeah. And doing very well on it. And I am uh, on a low residue diet, which means that a lot of the fiber that one is supposed to eat when one is trying to eat well, uh, I am not eating. That is not my excuse. Mm -hmm. The fact no. is that uh, with my failing body, it's like I'm... I think I may be uh, stepping over to food again. Well, you know, food is wonderful. Device. And the thing yes. is, Mike, is, you know, other relationships <laughs> with similar <laughs> limitations have succeeded. For example, Jack yes. Spratt could eat no fat. Ah. And his wife, wife could eat no lean. lean. And together right. they licked the platter clean. So mm. I think that what you need to do is what? emphasize emphasize <laughs> the fact that you have different interests. That's what will bring you together, Mr. Spratt. All right. I've got, uh, well, that's very, you know, Rob, that's enlightening. I, I appreciate that. I have one for you. Yes. Uh, Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Blow it out your ass. No. <laughs> it's the Michael Mara Show. You can listen to the Michael Mara Show at www.michaelmarashow.com. Stay tuned. We're not standing at Entertainment program. It's the <laughs> Michael Mara Show. Let's get down to business. We're on the entertainment capital of the world. He likes to talk dirty on the phone. He'll call me up and he's coming out with all this filth. What does he say? <laughs> what does he say? He calls up and says things like, Oh, what are you doing? What do you say? Well, I didn't know what was going on at first. I didn't realize, and I was just honest with him. And I said, Oh, I'm just cleaning out the vegetable drawer of the fridge. <laughs> Well, you probably thought it was a euphemism, to be fair. <laughs> oh, I'm cleaning out my vegetable drawer. <laughs> Have you talked dirty back to him? No, Have no, you? no, I have not. I don't know what to say to him. It's too embarrassing. Yeah. Well, what if I say, like, something and he just laughs at me or something and, he, and he, it's too much and he gets all offended? Well, no, it's just all stuff like, uh, oh, I'm playing with myself. Mm. Sounds interesting. Hey, not me. Her. <gasps> Go on. Her boyfriend likes to talk dirty on the phone and she doesn't know what to say to him. Well, yeah, why don't you just start with something light, you know, like, um, I'd love it if you stuck your Willy Wonka between my own palumpas, you know, something a bit fun, a bit jokey. And then you can get more hardcore. Rattle off the old classics, like, I'm playing with my dirty pillows, oh. I'm aching for your big purple-headed <laughs> ferret, and then go straight in hard, like, get round here because I'm f***ing myself stupid and I'm bloody loving it. All right? 
Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, good luck. Kate wins there, just talking dirty to Anne Frank and Joseph Goebbels, just another normal day. It's the Mike O'Mara Show. Mike O'Mara, Rob Spiewak, Oscar Santana. And now, from his office chair, here's Mike. We are live from the Cappy Viper Studios from sunny Southwest Florida at our nation's capital. This is the Mike O'Mara Show, powered by Encore Insurance Services and heard daily for over five years at MikeO'MaraShow.com. Online, on air, and on your mobile device, the Mike O'Mara Show is a daily radio show and podcast with the greatest listeners on the planet because they get it. And if you're here, my friends, you do too. Harry's, Harry's, Harry's. Love we it. love Harry's. Uh, here's a question. Why does shaving cost so much? You go into the drugstore. You go into the big box store. You go into your local store. You see the prices they have, and it has always been stunning to me. Harry's has a solution. They are wonderful. Harry's puts nearly a century of shaving experience into every blade they make from their German factory. That means a superior shave every time. And by cutting out the middleman, that pesky middleman. I hate that middleman. They can offer an amazing shave at a fraction of the price of drugstore brands. Uh, just for our listeners, you can get $5 off your first purchase with our code TMOS. So many people have taken advantage of this. That means the starter set is only $10. And, uh, you know, not just for the guys. Am I right, ladies? Yeah. Huh? Okay. Really? Right? You know, I mean, come uh, on yeah, now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Those yeah. legs aren't going to shave themselves. No. Uh, you'll get the razor, three blades, and a bottle of shaving cream, all shipped straight to you with free shipping. And as always, your satisfaction, 100 Hundred percent guaranteed. Here's what I want you to do: go to Harry's.com right now. I agree. Enter the code TMOS and Harry's <laughs> will give you five dollars off your first order. That's right, with the code TMOS two, you can get a month's worth of shaving for just ten bucks. That's H A R R Y S dot com and the TMOS code at checkout and change the way you shave forever. Woo! You know what I did that's so cool for the lazy man? I have a Harry's subscription. Every oh, month? now see, you, and you sent me some uh, some of your overage, yeah, which was fantastic. Because the blades last forever, but every month I get blades and shaving cream sent to me automatically. It's Mike, so this is cool. this. Uh, yes, Oscar, you were going to say Chan's something. When Shannon's not taking my money, she's taking my razors. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, I want to tell you. Hey, I really. So, are you so organized that you? can time out when the website, you're ready to replace your blades? The harrys.com website helps you figure out your rate of blade usage. It does. It really does. He's right. I have to check that out because I'm not doing that right the now interweb. because I've got so many. Yeah. I'm I'm fine. I think yeah. I'm, uh, I'm A-OK. Fine. For, fine. You know, Look at you. You're fine. I'm fine. He's like uh, Liberace with his razors. <laughs> That's right. Yes, I'm fine. They're all over the house. and They're all gold Golden plated. razors. Yay. Yay, 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 yay. That's me. Uh... Okay, I'm going to get right to this, and then we will move on with the show. We've got okay. an interesting show to talk about today. It's a big day in D.C. with pot, and uh, it's a big day uh, in the Santana household with the scholarship, and it's a big day in Rob's house with the ninth snow day for his children in yes. a row. Uh, before we get to the snow, I, I have to just throw this out there, and I want you guys to just be honest. I'm not looking for naked support. I'm not looking to be attacked either. Well, if you, if, my if, on. if you think if you think I am totally in the wrong here, lay it on me, and that's fine. I will accept that. But here's the thing. All right. So my sister's going to arrive yesterday. We just talked about that. Right. Yesterday afternoon, sitting on the patio, feeding my son. Is it not when a lanai? It's a lanai. Yes, yes, you call it a lanai down there. Uh -huh. Let me see if I have that. And in and, and this this part of the country, we call it a patio. Though. Yes, or yes. sometimes. Well, you know what? I think yeah. we call it a lanai down here. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, you do. That's you, a, yeah, that's you, right. you know, it's a beautiful lanai. I didn't lanai. know what a lanai was until I saw your house, and I yes. said, oh, that's a lanai. Yes, yeah, Well, everybody has them down here in Florida because, you know, you want to be outside more than you want to be in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And in fact, I wrote a song about it. And if you'd like to hear it, I'll sing that song for you Please, now. Only if you'd like to hear it. Yeah, well, this okay. will help explain what a lanai actually is. Okay, all right. Down where the trade winds play. Okay, hey, enough of that. Uh, save some for dad now. <laughs> save some for dad now. Out on the lanai, here's mud in your eye. Don't get a sty. The giant goes fee fi. Uh, anyway, so um, I'm out on the line and my daughter calls. Yes. And my daughter calls. Uh, she is now, we are overlapping our guests. Kathy will be leaving on Saturday morning. 
My daughter will be flying in Saturday afternoon. I will Ooh. literally be going back to pick up my daughter's friend who's flying in. I will be a taxi service on Saturday. I will be Good. picking up people up from the airport. Not enough which time is, to even hit the vacancy sign. That's true, and it, just the way I like it. As yeah. far as I'm concerned now, our first season down here, I'm all for it. You know, we have a big part of the show. We talked about that yesterday. But just the fact the is, way you like it. Just the way I like it. <laughs> Man, keep the house full. Right. <laughs> action, baby. You're about the action. <laughs> Not even enough time to put a mint on the pillow. No. Just the way he Make likes sure you it. Make you gas up that shuttle. That's right. <laughs> Come ahead. <laughs> uh, so anyway, so this is the, I was going for comedy, and I was probably a little ramped up and a little manic. My daughter calls me, has some question about the schedule. I think her friend coming in, we can just go to lunch and then go back and pick up my I said, Catherine, I'm yours all day. Anything you want to do, uh, you know, Saturday is your day and the week is your week. And, and you want me to be a chauffeur, you want to borrow the car, whatever you want to do, this is your break. Come on down here and enjoy cool. yourself. So cool. she says, uh, I said, uh, you want to FaceTime? Uh, with your with your brother and your brother's right here. You want to FaceTime with him? She said, Dad, I can't FaceTime now. And out of the shoot because I'm uh, the comedian I am. I said, Oh, you're not there naked with some boy, are you? And <laughs> Catherine, for the first time, for the first time in my life, for my daughter, yeah, I got a WTF, but without the letters. I got Dad, oh, no. Dad, <laughs> what the f? Dad, and I said, she don't said speak the word? to you. And she said the, and then, and then immediately I forget my inappropriate comment, and I said, don't speak to me like that. And then Catherine, <laughs> no, it was the middle of the day. She wasn't drinking. Well, no, she wasn't and drinking then, any like hard liquor. And then but. Carla looks over at me, and Carla is like taking a sip of her diet Dr. Pepper and goes, that was really inappropriate. <laughs> like that. Oh, and I'm sitting no. there, and suddenly, within five <laughs> seconds of what I thought would be a very sweet con- my conversation is always sweet with my daughter, I'm feeling like uh, I ought to be putting a sign in my front yard because I was just making a little joking comment, probably with a little fear based in the background. That That's I, the problem. You know, she I, could and- sense the fear. Is it a is it a woman thing? Because you, think you, you guys didn't said, react the way I if with you any- had said, "Are you sitting there naked?" Then it right. would have been funny, I think. Oh, that's but right. If you really had said, creepy, actually. No, creepy. but the fact creepy. you said, are you sitting there yeah. naked with a boy? Well, that's the, or, I think yeah. that's, or man. Their shtick. And it Mike, to be fair to you, her person, yes. you know, we had this conversation because you follow her on Facebook about right, the right. inches and this mm-hmm. and that. Mm-hmm. So you're just dovetailing off of that. You know, you know she's becoming that's a, an adult. Br- that's why I bring this to the floor. Mm-hmm. That's what it was. It was the uh, the comments on Facebook. Yes. By the way, some people on Facebook uh, that listen to the show commiserated with me on that. Some yeah. fathers were out there yeah. saying, he's dealt with that. It's the yeah. whole age thing. You know, mm-hmm. you have to deal. So uh, for a moment, I felt like, uh, you know, I didn't mean anything by it. I no, was just, you weren't you, being creepy. You were just being a dad. I wasn't and being then, creepy, but boy, did Carla make me feel creepy at that particular moment. You know, I think that was inappropriate. <laughs> uh, no, I think I asked her, I said, was that, we got off the phone. I said, was that inappropriate? She goes, yes, it was. I'm like, oh, no, stop no, it, the please, reason, come even on. Even if you made her uncomfortable, it was not inappropriate because you're the dad and you set the table. I mean, you yeah. can make that joke. Save room for the table, Dad. Hey, now. listen, I hope you're yeah. not there naked with a boy. Yeah. Boy, oh boy, boy, boy. <laughs> those, those college shenanigans. Yeah. Yes, sirree. Have yourself and, some and minute like orange the juice. snow has canceled afternoon <laughs> classes. How are you going to pass the time? <laughs> <laughs> Rob out oh, bings man. me every time we do doing <laughs> like, things. Like, let me ask you this. What also the reaction? Because we remember <laughs> at, when we were kids, when our yes. parents would call us out, we would react and overreact right. at times yes. because <laughs> there is a pang of guilt right. where she is dating, she is in yeah. college, and for right. you to say something like that is like yeah. WTF. Yeah. Well, it, it, it hit a little I, close it, when, to home. She did FaceTime, and she was walking across the quad. Aww. She had a parka on. She was coming mm. between buildings, and that is why. No that, that, yes, boy. she said. Yes, Just she actually books. said, "I'll FaceTime you, Dad. I'll FaceTime you right now." And she was like walking. You can see it was like all the snow in the background. <laughs> I, I felt like a complete and total heel. You know, uh, after a little library time, how about some canoodling in the dormitory? Hey, maybe we can uh, get a study room for two. <laughs> so I, I look. It's my anxiety. I 
my daughters are good girls. They I are. trust them implicitly. They are good kids, and so uh, that was it. And uh, I, I just, think you're okay. You know what? I, I think it's the harsh environment I work in on a day to day basis. They all can't be know? winners, Mike. And they also, can't be winners. Oscar, February right is the cruelest that. month. Maybe she feels. You know what? She's eager to get down and spend some time with you, and you guys can get on a level playing field again and realize what's normal and what's okay. And I like when the friend comes <laughs> because the the pressure is off of me. So now the friend is. Uh, a, is, is a, she bringing them back down? It's a, a supermodel. It's a girlfriend. Uh, no, right? she says she's bringing a girlfriend down. <laughs> Stop it now! Now, now, look! Now you're gonna go immediately into the land of creepiness, Oscar. Well, you know, Oscar's such an gonna ass. Make, he's gonna you're make such an ass. Are you bringing? Is she like bringing a, a supermodel? Yeah. God, that is terrible. <laughs> oh God, no! But when the friend comes down, the pressure's off me because I don't have to enter it. I'll say here, here are the keys to the car. Go to the beach, and uh, you know, I'll I'll play 18. That's uh, that's. You'll the way still I'm entertain though, because in the 10 or 15 minutes that you spend in the room with the girl and and your daughter you'll say something and she'll roll her eyes to the friend i know yeah. i know i'm not no i'm i really i'm gonna try to make a, an effort to be no i'm not cool dad? i'm not i am who i am you know yeah. what i'm not cool dad i'm you not cool dad i'm 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 cool dad i think i'm hipper dad than a lot of other yeah. fathers that yeah, are out there because true. i think i know the ropes a little bit You're plugged but in. i uh, but i've never been cool dad and when they're all what, do, what at, would cool dad do that you can't do just leave him alone Cool dad would be no, because cool dad. Cool dad would be. be cool. uh, here's what cool dad would do. Cool dad would say, "Hey girls, we're going down to uh, the beach. We're going to grab some kayaks and we're going to go kayaking among the islands and sure. stuff like." That. Yeah. Cool dad would be. I look at cool dad as <laughs> physically being able to do things that I would not be able to do. If I got, you know, I tried a kayak once, and it, you it, you could have seen me. There were oars. There was an oar sticking out of the water, and then it, I was up to my neck and not moving because oh, the kayak, kayak had gone. <laughs> right down to the bottom. That's the way it worked. Yeah. And reach zero. Right. Right. <laughs> Equalized. Yeah. And then um, the other thing that I tried to do, they have what are called. Are you familiar, Oscar? You went down to the islands. Flatboards. Have oh, you yeah, seen yeah, the I've flat boards that you're talking I've about? Done those. So if I was to get on a uh, flat board, it just like I would put my right foot on it, and then uh, <laughs> it would it basically launch itself out <laughs> of the water and and do that type of thing. So and it's they just, have the uh, sup boards that you can stand and actually uh, paddle exactly, and understand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, look, I've got the fun. I've got the bone doctor tomorrow. I'm going to see him at seven thirty in the morning before we tape. <laughs> and the, I the adventures of hip dad. Yes, <laughs> hip dad. <laughs> yes, I'll, I'll hip dad. That's, that's it. the only hip dad family. that I am. Hip dad is my right hip, <laughs> and how it's uh, happening right there. Yeah. Today's show is brought to you by Boniva. <laughs> let, let me tell you this: I am such a uh, I'm in such a wreck down here right now that I can miss. I bore the 85 year olds when I'm talking about my ailments down oh, here. No. That's how bad it is. So I I go there and I. Maybe we'll have some answers and find out what's uh, going on, but I think he's going to funnel me off to uh, someone else. But right now, the uh, getting up in the morning, you'd laugh if you saw me uh, getting no, up in no. the morning. Because uh, I picked my son up out of the crib first thing, six uh, six 6.15 this morning. I am uh, trundling across to grab my uh, little guy, and it really, if, if you were just going to roll an audio tape on it, it would yeah. sound exactly like this. <laughs> <laughs> Crunch, crackle, crackle, oh. crunch, crackle, oh, crackle, yeah. and and that's uh, that's where I'm. I am going to fix myself. You'll I am out, going Mike. to. Absolutely. I don't care if I have to have bionic plates put in every joint in my body. I am going to fix myself. I, I am actually, going to improve. I saw a documentary Steve about Austin. Mike yesterday on Modern Marvels. <laughs> oh, did you? Oh, yes. Modern Marvels. They have these, we you, can rebuild them. They yeah. have these earth movers that, uh, <laughs> that can pick up buildings. Sure. <laughs> but they move. They move so slowly that you need to like plan out four months yeah, to like move the inches building. a day, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I see it. It sucks. It sucks. I am never gonna jump out of the bed again and run across the floor. That's not you gonna will. happen. You absolutely no. will. It won't happen. It, it won't happen. It's very very Mike, sad. We, yeah. we can't all be great at everything. What I you're know. great at is what you do right now. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. And, Getting uh, by. Yeah. <laughs> you excel at it. Surviving. <laughs> you're a fighter. Yeah, it's fine. It's you're fine. And then uh, you're yeah. a fighter. I'm a fighter. I am a fighter. And then the last part of the the whole thing with the the family being down here, we had the great binky debate. 
uh, last night because my little guy is uh, still at 19 months, and a lot of people say six months to a year you For get rid pacifier. of the binky. Yeah, I don't and it's know a pacifier. Those rules. And uh, well, there's a, my in my family. Yes. Uh, you know, it's you might as well be sucking on a poison pill. That's the way uh, they approach it uh, with that. Why you know, are the they binky, against it? Do they say that it's going to wreck his teeth? Yeah, they say that you know if, if you talk to my 94 year old mother, yes, uh, you would you would venture to say that uh, you know how, how long has he had the binky? In? Does, does he still have the binky? Yes, mommy still has me. But that means that he's gonna talk like this for the rest of his life. <laughs> then then he's gonna talk like that. No, it's it's th- their thing. It's their little trip. And then I got online last night, like Carla has before, and I read about the binky. And yes, there is a school of thought, like so many things in medicine and parenting and development. Uh, yes, Oscar, no, go please ahead. Please finish, and then I have my own thought. When it, you're it's it, the thing about it is there are two schools of thought. Some say that they can have they can self wean themselves off off the sure. binky and he is not he, he does not sleep with his binky at night That's we good. take it out of his mouth and That's he doesn't good. sleep with it at night uh, and then Kathy countered with well the energy they expend according to Dr. Brazelton or Brazelton uh, is using so much that would be energy that they would use to form words Dr. and so Brazelton it might delay a, <laughs> doc, he's a dick <laughs> <laughs> Kiss okay. off, Doctor Brazelton. <laughs> yes, Oscar, there's also ahead. a school of thought that breastfeeding is okay till you're five. So there's mm-hmm. always people at a different extremes. That's Where true. Where is little Michael at extremes? Uh, well, I breastfed, as many of you know, until I was 16. <laughs> yeah. Now, where uh, is he as far as the, because you said there's 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 six months, there's 19, 19 yeah, months. 19, yeah. Is he at 19 right. months? All right, we're going to go a little long here. Is but he at 19 just, months? Uh, yeah, he just turned 19 oh months. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. All right, this is what I this Wild. is what I Googled last night. I said, when you Googled do Dirty you Scooby-Doo movie. <laughs> now he had to erase the history, yeah. remember? Oh, that's right. Cash yeah. file's yeah. gone. Yeah. Yeah. Cookies right. gone. <laughs> All right. I wonder if he never remembers any passwords. <laughs> no, this is the wrong one. God damn it. You know, I hate websites where there's it's a story. Okay, I don't want to hear they about one. I want, I want clinical. I want. You can clinic. research while we take a break. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I don't want to come back with this. Hold on a second. Oh, we have to. We have a lot of cops, uh, spots today. All right, we'll take a break. We'll have. Uh, we'll continue our uh, our binky debate when we uh, have more of the Michael Mara show. We'll be right back. Oscar. <laughs> Take that binky out of your mouth. What? Answer this question. Yes. Would you like to win $100? I would love to win $100. Who wouldn't? And here's how you do it. Introducing Glowburst. Woo! Yes. Take your shirt off. Glowburst. (laughs) A new game by our friends at TM Soft. Glowburst features fast action, exploding fireworks, and gameplay that will make you smarter. I actually had to give Julia a ride yesterday, Mm -hmm. and in the half mile that it took to get from one house to our home, she was addicted to this game. Oh, she loves it. Higher scores than me. It's featured by Apple and Google, so you know it's effing great. And it's 100% made in America. Download the free version, don't cost nothing, by searching for Glowburst on iTunes or Google Play. The TMOS listener that leaves the funniest five-star review will win a $100 Amazon gift card. Rob, I'm on uh, iTunes right now. I'm checking the reviews. Yes. This is the deal, people. I've only seen nine reviews. Not enough. Not going to cut it. Yeah, got to do it. Get on it. Give it five stars. Give it a nice review. You could win $100. A nice, funny five-star review. And remember, no jerk stores. That's right. Again, that is Glowburst by TM Soft. Download, review, and win. Win. Win, baby, win. This week on the Michael Marabona Show. We <laughs> thought it would be funny to call this general store, and I will be Paul McCartney, claiming that I've lost my wallet. It's going to be great. Ah. JJ Hopkins, this is... This is Paul McCartney. I think I, I misplaced my wallet. This is Paul McCartney. I lost my wallet when I was in a week ago. Uh, do you have blueberries? Are they in season? Now you're just being silly. Ringo, what kind of berries do you like? <laughs> my favorite berries are strawberry. <laughs> you ever have it on a scone? You, you sound so, like a little so, hotter, you do. So you give... Do. May I ask uh, what you... <laughs> No, I don't think it'd be appropriate for me to ask what you're wearing now, would it? No, you best rein it in. <laughs> the Michael Mara Bonus Show. Because five hours a week just ain't enough. Always available at MichaelMaraShow.com. Welcome back to the Michael Mara Show. You know, men's underwear has essentially been the same for 50 years. Uh, we love Mac Weld, and you will too. They're here to upgrade your underwear drawer for 2015. Make a resolution to change your underwear because the guys at Mac Weldon 
thought that underwear could be made better, and they succeeded. They did it. An amazing fabric blend like no other. It holds its shape. It won't ride up, and they have cool zones for added comfort. MacWeldon.com has great multi-packs and starter kits, plus the best undershirts and socks you've ever worn. Here's a special deal just for our listeners. Go to MacWeldon.com and enter the code TMOS for $5 off, plus free expedited shipping on orders over 50 bucks. Buy more, save more. Remember that name, M-A-C-K-W-E-L-D-O-N dot com, MacWeldon dot com. And uh, I love me their socks. Brain socks. Oscar loves the T-shirts. We all love MacWeldon, baby. MacWeldon. Uh, welcome back to the uh, Binky Show. Uh, yes, it's uh, Babies Are Us at 55 <laughs> Binky years show. old. Coming on the More Network, it's the Binky Show. Binky so, the Brain. <laughs> last night on the patio, I bring this up. It says, sucking on a pacifier may be beneficial for infants because it's linked to a lower risk of sudden infant death syndrome for okay. the little little bitties. But after six months, pacifier use is less helpful and more of a habit. Well, I know it's a habit. I mean, I get him up in the morning and he goes, gah, 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 and he wants it. And right. uh, you know, Does he have a, I know does he have a sound or a word for it? Uh, buh. Buh. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> some doctors say six to 12 months is a good time to wean your child from the pacifier, especially if your child is prone to ear infection. Uh, my my child is not. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, the American Academy of Pediatrics and American Academy of Family Physicians recommend limiting or stopping pacifier use after your baby is six months old to reduce the risk of ear infections. Oh, he's in the clear. So, he beat the odds. Yeah. He beat the odds with that. Uh, after that, using a pacifier is linked to increased ear infections, especially among two- and three-year-olds. Oh, interesting. Well, now that's uh, all right. But it's not a hard and fast rule. Many children use a pacifier well into their toddler and even preschool years, and they typically stop on their own between the ages of two and four. Now, oh. he's putting it down a lot more often than he used oh, to. Oh, good. So, so we think he, he may be, be self-weaning he might be as I am. I'm self <laughs> Of course you are. Because the last thing you want is for it to become an embarrassment if he yeah. gets to, like, the preschool age. Yeah, and he walks into class and he's got that thing in his back pocket. Yeah, I won't, you know, I'm not going to point a finger at anybody, but I know of certain kids that might be going to high school next year that still occasionally refer back to their blanket. And they're very embarrassed about it. Really? And it becomes, it becomes a deal at sleepovers and stuff. He takes it with him? I didn't say it was a boy or a girl. Uh, oh. His but, daughter's uh, going to high school next year. But, oh, it's, mm-hmm. they, they, it's all haze. Nice you know? going, Sherlock. <laughs> <laughs> but it Sorry is, about it, that. It's, yeah. it's embarrassing. But the, she's got a special blanket? Yeah, she's had it since well, she was born. Where does she keep it? Uh, she keeps it she uh, sleep, at sleepovers. Uh, sometimes. She, Hidden where? Oh, she's going to kill me. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. She hides it in a pillowcase yeah. and says she brings a pillow with her. Aww. So the, the blanket That's is in the sweet, pillow. Though. The thing's in tatters. Oh, I think it's perfect. First of all, it's perfectly normal. That yeah. is sweet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I mean, that's not normal. But she no, would... I think when you're raised with something, they, they always say to comfort a child. We have a little sock monkey that is in the... Uh, in a cage. I realize, I realize everything I say on this show week. is going to be twisted into something horrible. No, if, it's a little sock pets. puppet. It's, it's a little... Pu- <laughs> would, you, would you boys like to see the monkey? Yes. yes. I would. Hey, not that I, you know, know. He, he's a, That's a He's in swim lessons right now. I don't think he'd mind me taking the monkey no out problem. of his crib. I'll be right back. Hey, go Hold take on. the monkey out of his crib. What a lot of people don't oh, know. Oh, he is just this. came home. He just came God home. I'm going to see. Mike, uh, you're the parent. Hey, Kathy, you do what you want. Yeah, Kathy, yeah. can you come in here for oh a second? Oh, my God. And is guy. it true that the sock monkey is made out of a Mac Weldon sock? <laughs> you know what? If it it's was, a sock monkey. It's not a sock monkey. It would last forever. What, what, it's a certain yeah. kind of stuffed animal. You'll, you'll see when Mike, I... It's I, a know very, what, I know Mike, what you mean. I've got my Mack Weldon socks on right Carla, now. Carla, can you get the, the, the monkey out of the crib? I'm talking about the monkey. <laughs> Carla, right. get the monkey. Get the monkey <laughs> out of the, the crib. For, hey, look what Oscar's hey, wearing. Mack Weldon that. socks today. Yeah, yeah baby. Yeah, baby. Cool. That's but awesome, They are baby. the absolute best. She's fetching the monkey. She's you know getting the I mean. monkey right now. So I understand the whole concept of... Uh, Oh, 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 little oh, Michael's hi. here. Look, oh, there this, he is. This is about to get awkward because he's on the air, and then the monkey's going to show oh, up. Oh, look, it's the binky, too. <laughs> it's yeah. the binky. Oh, the binky look, has oh, look at the other thing he's got. Golf oh, ball. Yes. Yeah, a little golf nice. ball. Nice. What is his? Oh, my God. Sun's he's out, got Daddy's out. logo on it, too, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> look, he's oh, got Daddy's logo. logo. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's right. That's golf ball smells like gin. 
And this is the monkey. Oh, that is a sock my monkey. God. It's quite that literally a sock, sock monkey. monkey. Doesn't say he monkey. sell pet products on TV? Sometimes. Right? Yeah. 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 I have two of them that I hang on my Christmas tree. I have oh, two that's sock very monkey sweet. Ornaments. Oh, he's so oh, happy he with it. it. He's hugging it. He's got everything he loves. He's got hey, daddy and binky and monkey. I oh. love this little guy. I love you. Is he going for surfer sexual? What's his haircut these days? Look surfer at he, sexual. He, he, he is break. actually, he's not. He's a point break character. He could be a mini point break character right now. He's he's about maybe. Maybe uh, three weeks away from getting his first real uh, haircut. We're not sure about that. My, I say you let it grow out. I, I say you get him a flat top. Wow. There we go. Did you see him giving him a little kiss with the binky? Oh, yeah. yeah, that's he very is, sweet. What, <laughs> what, what does his onesie guy. say? What does his shirt say? Yeah. Uh, Sun's see. out, guns out. Let, no. Let's <laughs> see. My dad went to Florida and all I got. Oh, oh mighty cute. Hey, it has got a yeah. shotgun. Yeah. yeah. Now, the reason his hair looks like that right now is because uh, he, went he just swimming. had swimming. That's he had why swim I said lessons. he's a point break character. Yeah. How, how were your swim lessons? Did you have a good time with your swim lessons? He just rules. Can I have the bank for a second? Just, uh, just uh, oh, 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 oh. oh, he's there less he happy. Oh, 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 look at, oh, my down. goodness. Oh, he's so being sweet. turbo cute. How great would it be if when you said, how was swim lessons, if he said, my instructor is a taskmaster. You want to... I'm Mike, you should get your down. kid into show business. I'm not kidding. Yeah. You want to say you want to say bye bye to. Uh, he's a good Oscar looking kid. Say say bye bye. Look, he's quiet. There it is. Bye he bye. Look at, Look at how he's he's performing. Cues, Isn't yeah. he great? Yeah. Can he, I have a little kiss? Oh, have a little Mike, kiss? enough. Come on. Oh. Right. I kiss my little guy enough. Yeah. Don't you and I stop with this? Yes. And you know okay. what? We've spent enough time with Mike in <laughs> studio. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. You Hold remember on. that's how Mike ends conversation. Oh, of course, he's like, "Come on, great meeting, Thank guys." You. Can okay. I have a little yes. kiss? Shut up. <laughs> You guys are such bastards. I, I remember God, I when RJ left. Yeah. It took forever. I, 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 was like, I was like, oh, man, is that tongue? <laughs> so that's the sock. That's the sock monkey. So passionate. That is the sock. But you know, he did kids. not fight you when you, you yanked the binky out of his mouth. He, no, no, he's, he's cool with okay that. With he's it. cool with that. And, and you know, he's, uh, I think, I don't think it's that uh, that's uh, that big he's a deal. He's a free-range so, uh, kid. He do, does what he wants. <laughs> right? It's a free-range. Yeah. It's Mike O'Mara's yeah. Purdue child. All right, enough of my child. Uh, your your children. Children, Rob, have been uh, home. They, they uh, are you boys surviving the uh, the blizzard they were supposed to get? Rob was. Rob gets the uh, uh, the preparation award. Rob knew that uh, probably weren't going to get a lot of snow, but uh, we tape a little bit later today because I mean the timing uh, was really bad because they said the worst of the snow with visibility issues traffic. was going to be seven to nine a.m. Rush hour. Which is exactly this is what I heard about hour. this snowstorm that. It wasn't an overwhelming snow no. like they've gotten up in places like Bangor, Maine oh, or Boston, man, Massachusetts. Yeah. But it was a snow that, especially like in the Carolinas, fell so intensely for, for a short period of time and landed on warm roads, causing a little slush, and then put the snow on top of it that it was a traffic nightmare. How was it in the D.C. area? Not bad. Not bad. Morning, uh, there was maybe an inch and a half to two inches out where I lived, Perfect. and once I got out of my neighborhood, I was on wet roads, and because the government was on a delay and the schools were closed, roads were wide open. It was easy coming in. So, so. VDOT and the people that treat the roads uh, deserve the, an applause. The first for, uh, storm for that, that was as, as, uh, as expected. Exactly right? yeah, as yeah. predicted yeah. And, and well handled. But my kids with the day off their ninth snow day plus two hour two two hour delays in the recent history mm -hmm. and with the martin luther king holiday i think of the last 15 business days they've had two full school days wow the maybe don't they you know. cancel spring three? break at this we point? wonder why uh, we, we mm. wonder why we're getting lapped by asia exactly. you know what i mean we wonder <laughs> well, why that's happening because of their warm right climate now. they don't close no but it's just i, I think that uh, ultimately don't you see in certain climates that uh, you can probably have some sort of online uh, presence yeah, for, Mike, for schools. Yeah, those weren't all snow days. Some of them were cold days. Yeah, I one never, was we never just had a cold that growing day. up. Yeah, we never had a cold day. I mean, but they have heat in the schools, don't they? Yes, but what about the little little Johnny and Mary at the at the at the bus stop? They've got to wait they out put there. a coat on. I mean, I don't Bundle they up, mock us efforts. in like Buffalo, New York, and places <laughs> like that? Bundle I mean, it's ridiculous. <laughs> That's if Oscar was doing the morning cutaways on Good Morning America. <laughs> Has it gotten <laughs> bundle up efforts? We go to Oscar Santana in a snowdrift just outside Boston. Oh, efforts. It is so, so cold right now. It You're is gonna terrible. You're going to take that biology test, you little mother effort. So you <laughs> better bundle up. Heidi <laughs> ho, neighbors. So, so do your kids, let me ask you about your kids. Do they actually 
Has it been so many days now where maybe a little bit of the novelty is uh, worn off of it? Or do yes, they still and I, get have an, jacked I have an example of it. When I got up and I usually head down to my computer a little before seven, and uh, Robert was up, he was in the bathroom. I said, Hey, buddy, no school today. He said, I know. I looked out the window. And, and that's it. I mean, he doesn't, he, he'll, you know, he'll go back to bed. We won't see, see bored. Julia until noon. He is bored. He is bored. Yeah. They get totally bored. You know, yeah. I mean, it's just, uh, it's it's insane. And I think that uh, the D.C. area has a little bit of an issue with how to handle this. I, I don't that's think fair. you shut down a school system for one to two inches. Of and snow. Also, I just don't I think, think you do that. I think the problem is almost like uh, a mental issue. I think they're still trying to come to terms with how badly they blew the first call of the year. And they have a piece PR issue to deal with and I think they're going to err on the side of conservative for the rest of this year even if it's at the expense of the students I, I also think there's an opportunity here uh, for a bigger industry to, to, uh, to seize the day uh, it may maybe for the future where these school buses school buses haven't evolved in so long as far as attraction and how they mm -hmm. drive and how they get from point A to B I think if we can get a lot of these buses, these these commuter buses, to really have the, the type of tires and the change. Elon the, Musk. Yeah. Well, no, I, I'm serious here. Like, if somebody came, I out think with, you're talking about a an astronomical expense. Well, to do I'm that. not saying that the school systems are going to do this, but no one's offering the solution because every time I hear about the the BSing, they're like, the school bus drivers can't drive these buses I don't on the think road. It's, it's as much of a bus issue as it is a sidewalk issue. All right, I here's think one here's of the, the solution. They, call I, 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 is I, I, if they I, can't get sidewalks clear. Yeah. They're legally liable. All right. Um, here it is. God. And this is, the, look, uh, the fact is that uh, we talk about the fact that our kids get lapped in school, All but also the technology we have. Listen, the teacher goes online, just one teacher, just the classes. Yeah. You, put your, you yeah. put your lessons online, and the kids have a regular workload that they're supposed to do, and they do it that way. And I think that would what? be the solution. It's not that, that is the solution. It's not that far out of, a, out of the future. I do that for the, uh, for the University of Maryland. There's a thing there's they some have. There's classes that I have to strictly take online, and I better get it right because I get graded on it. There's yeah, there's no slacking. The yeah. systems are in place. Online education has yeah. been uh, in, you know, a reality for a long time. But we don't. Systemically, uh, uh, you know, our school systems are behind all the time, all the time. on everything. I, I'll give you an example, Mike. I go every other week, right? So this week, I have for financial... You should try more fiber. For, for, for fi financial <laughs> counting for school, every, every the week that we don't go, we have an online homework that takes anywhere from five to ten hours easy. Ugh. Just because... And there, there are five problems, but each problem has nine or twelve questions to that problem. Levels, yes. Yeah. And you don't... And I know I'm an adult, and it's, you know, it's a, a higher level learning, but... There, it's so easy to log in from any computer and dedicate that time. It's right there, mm -hmm. and you right? can't slack on no, it. No, right? because there's it's due. It opens here and it it's closes there. here. It's, it's there, that's and you it. have to get her done. And you if you don't get, get it, done, it done, I think that's the solution. And the know, easiest solution. Everybody's got a computer. There's now. something I mean, in place that, uh, that Loudoun County has. It's called Clarity, where every student you can log in and see every teacher's grade book. Whoa! I mean, so there is no way to for a kid oh to lie God. as to whether or not something has been turned in, something has been assigned, what the grade is. So they already have each student has an account in place. My parents would have another tab would be called Pedro Moreno. <laughs> That if they saw the clarity <laughs> score, then Pedro Moreno would be released. And it's, it's so I think it's probably closer if they go forward with it. It's easier to do than you even think. That is so well, cool. Yeah. Uh, unless we get these kids to school, we're going to have a dumber society. I mean, really, we're going to be producing more Sarah Palins out there. That's <laughs> going to happen. Ladies <laughs> as podcasters, can't we truly benefit from stupid people? Yeah, uh, you know what? Bring them on. <laughs> yeah, come yeah. on, the, come the into kids, our arms. Yeah, that's right. The kids with nine snow days not getting their education. Welcome to the Michael. Show fan club. Thank you very much. We appreciate that. We'll take a break and come back with more on the Mike O'Mara Show. He was high on intellectualism. I've never been there. Welcome back to the show. Whoa, whoa. Oh, that'll get a rise out of him, yeah. won't it? That'll, yeah. that'll be a thread. That'll be a thread. Seize the negativity. Oh, well, Mike, you didn't say it was everybody. Seize the negativity. We'll take anybody's. We also like the very bright people. Yes, they like the super bright people. Yeah. Absolutely. Any examples, Rob? No, we're not going to go there. Yeah. The uh, Moody's. The uh, Moody's. Oh, and I'd like to say hi to Barb Moody. Barb, you know we love you. Yes. Absolutely. So yes. Yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, you were trolling today with that thread. Uh, but anyway, thank you. Uh, welcome back to the show. Oh, Rob, I don't think so. Not this oh, early in the day. Monster rolls. Uh, this segment. Of <laughs> this segment of the Michael Merritt Show. We are so inside right now. We are. Brought to you by Blue Apron. 
Uh, I don't have the recipes, but we opened up our Blue Apron package. We have three meals from Blue Apron, that uh, two of which we are going to be cooking tonight. Ooh. And I'm going to have a big review tomorrow. Uh, everybody's got to eat. The trick is eating right. It's not that tricky thanks to BlueApron.com. BlueApron.com delivers fresh, locally sourced ingredients straight to your door, along with chef design recipes and amazing pre-proportioned ingredients. I love the step-by-step recipe mm. cards with the beautiful pictures. They show you how your food's supposed to look, and they tell you how to do it with prep time. 35 minutes or less. Say goodbye to frozen dinners and takeout. Say hello to home-cooked, balanced meals like the one I'm going to enjoy tonight. Blue Apron is offering two free meals on their first week's box o meals. Just pick your plan to enjoy this offer. $9.99 per meal for two people or $8.74 per meal for families. Just visit blueapron.com slash TMOS and the offer will automatically be applied before checkout. That's blueapron.com slash TMOS. Bon appétit, everybody. Très bon. Did you happen to see Madonna take the terrible spill? I did. That was unfortunate. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Did she step on someone's face? No, what happened, what happened? is she was you didn't wearing see it? A, I saw a quick, uh, like, a gif of it. That's she, all I saw. She was wearing a cape, of yes. course, naturally, as we all are, and uh, it was tied too tight. And she did, I think, a similar act that she did at the Grammys. What she was at was at the <laughs> Brit Awards. Okay. Like- I just, Rob, I just wrote an audio saying this is something that you would produce, but I have to tell you what it what would be it? right now. It would be the first line of Madeline Kahn singing I'm Tired and then you play the meatloaf microphone sound <laughs> and the fall. Oh, you'll have some it, treats coming up in the audio vault. <laughs> okay, I, I did a little home cooking last oh, night. Oh, good. Okay, very uh, good. I just the, thought about uh, that. But she had a cape and you know, remember the guys with the horns? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the guys with the horns were going to pull the cape off her. Yes. But as she said, I believe in a, in a tweet today, her cape was too tight. Ooh. And so when they yanked the cape, she came down about four steps. Oh, no. And if I can, Mike, I'd like to share with you a list of my favorite Madonna jokes that were posted on my wall overnight. Okay, very good. Very uh, there good. was nine of them that I thought made the cut. Whoa. Yeah. So the first one, strike the floor. There's nothing to it. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. X-ray oh, wow. of light. <laughs> like a splayer. Oh. Borderline <laughs> fracture. True, true black and blue. Oh, no. Oh, Desperately no. seeking Tylenol. Oh, that's awesome. Lock stock and two broken ankles. <laughs> <laughs> Papa don't preach about workplace safety. Oh, and so my cool. favorite one. Greta Garbo and Monroe, Dietrich and DiMaggio. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone was on fire Lots last night with Madonna. But I love her new album. Let's play a clip from oh, it. Can we do. play a yeah. clip from her new album? All right. I'm not a rabbit. <laughs> I need some rest. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Madonna. I'm tired. <laughs> Sick. I'm tired of love. <laughs> I've had my fill of love. <laughs> from below and above. <laughs> there it is. Okay. That's it's rocketing up the dance and charts. And a spell at this age, you know, anything's possible. Anything could the hit. Yeah. All right, here it is. You might this see her woman, at the doctor tomorrow morning, Mike. <laughs> this woman, I, ha- I have to tell you, the, the, the physical fitness level uh, for a woman this age is off the charts. Madonna is 82. incredibly fit. However... I have seen her recently, and I think that for the outfits and for what she's doing, yeah. it's ju- it's. I think she has to manage the age appropriate yeah. look where, where she just a little better. I hate yeah. to. I don't want to go too old timey, but she's really, really dangerously in the Mae West territory. <laughs> <laughs> now, for those of you who don't know, Mae West was like a heartthrob, uh, like a, almost a pinup type in the 1930s, okay. who continued <laughs> the who same had... act into the 1970s. Oh, wow. And right. so she still had some amazing cantilevered structure like, that held uh, her breasts Like up. Liz Taylor? No, but Liz Taylor has always been age appropriate. I think she has. Mae West really always tried to okay. stay like a. Sex All right, we got, we've yeah. got to do better than Mae West. We Cher? have to do better Cher? than Cher. 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 Yeah. Cher would okay. be somebody who, and they they chase it, I, and you know, I, I, on the red carpet, on the uh, May uh, Melanie Griffith with oh, her her daughter God. who's in Fifty Shades of Grey. Yep. Melanie Griffith looked like uh, that that Catwoman from New York. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know yeah. what I yes. mean? Uh, it was terrible. Surgery. Yeah, and, 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 and we yes, see it sometimes ahead. in uh, all 
also uh, Jane Fonda. I think Jane Fonda needs to stop trying to be quite as vivacious as she thinks she is. But Jane Fonda looks better I than think, the most. Better than yeah, most. Yeah, I think Jane Fonda, yeah. whoever her surgeon is, uh, has done. And, and Jane Fonda, uh, from a body standpoint, she works her ass Raquel off. Raquel she, well, she did it right. Yes. Yeah. yeah, and, yep. and then, she but it, never looked like I was like who she just looked the same to me. Yep. But even up. at a certain point, Raquel Welch, they get to that point where I think when you get on that, and I don't know anything about plastic surgery, but I tell you, you okay, get on that, Mike. you get on that chin, yeah, that chin. <laughs> yeah, yeah let, me, let, me, let me tell you, <laughs> a nose like that doesn't just happen, no, Oscar. No. Oh, <laughs> I don't know anything about. It. I think, I think everything's going to be fine. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why uh, everybody's making such a big deal about it. It's ridiculous. I don't think we. I'm, I'm looking weird in the camera. Uh, but the fact is, I think when you hop on that treadmill, that plastic surgery mm. treadmill, yeah, I think uh, if you do it once, even a little bit, you get in that habit and you're screwed. I think you're just like, going to have to do it again like and again and tattoos. again. Tattoos. People yep. get addicted to it. I think they really do. Absolutely, and it gets to to their detriment. You know, even uh, rest her soul, Joan Rivers had a point where I just looked at her and I said, "Oh my God, what happened?" Yeah. And it was it's like a, overnight. Cartoon character. Yeah, yeah. it's horrible. It's uh, but but with Madonna, I don't even think it's a plastic surgery issue. With Madonna, she's wearing uh, like the bustier, the yeah. little Teddy outfit they had with the stock. And it's and and she has a look to her like an old Italian lady, you know what I mean? She does <laughs> a very fit Italian lady, a very fit, but very yeah. Because there's a certain when you're doing that, and I think you can perform. You Madonna can has in a 15 way. years of performing yeah. left if she wants to. But when you're you're surrounding yourself by the young dancers and still doing those production numbers, Rob, you hit on it. I thought you know, I it's like boy, she still sounds great. She looks great, but she just looked. Her age, even yeah, with all the she fitness, does, didn't she you looks, think? She looks her age, and here's the deal. She could, if she plays this right, use the fall that she had. you and <laughs> Just to get off the stage. We wish her the best. But <laughs> oh, no. this could be a turning point in her career when she stops dressing like that. Because yeah, right now, yeah. she's yeah. barely pulling it off. <laughs> it's, the, it's the look. It's not her. She could come out no, and she can still dance. be dressed her voice appropriately, yeah. and she could do still do dance numbers and yeah, things like that. of course. But it's just that, that matador outfit. No more look, high kicks, it, no more kicks. It, look, it looks silly. Matador. But with the that, sexy it, matador. You the can sexy, buy it on our Amazon page. The sexy <laughs> matador. That's it. Speaking of sexy matadors, let's take a look behind the curtain in Oscar's world because Oscar wanted to uh, tell us about the fact that uh, Shannon's scholarship is yes. going just, just ducky. Oh. How's the tutor working out? Oh, uh, working out, working out. Okay. So Shannon is, uh, she's pursuing at this point in her life, um, uh, the really some prerequisites because she has an undergrad already to go into the physical training school. Okay, right, uh, physical therapy school. I'm sorry, and she's taking, uh, she's taking chemistry and organic chemistry. And if you want to get into these certain schools, you have to have these prereqs. Right. You just, you just right. have to. There's no. Gray so is area. she going to be? A, is that what she wants to be? A physical therapist? As pretty of much? she does currently, kind of. There's a wrinkle in the situation, so we'll okay. figure that out. Right. But regardless, I'm supportive, and as many of you that write in, most supportive man I know. Yes. Uh, that that uh, whether you like love, an eye beam, Mike. whether you love or hate me, um, I am a good guy, and I do support uh, where I can uh, Shannon's endeavors where you deem it appropriate. For example, well, uh, how long has she been on scholarship? Just out of curiosity, I think she. She's been on scholarship for almost three years. Is that yes. how long you've been yes. dating, or did the scholarship happen after you dated? No, the scholarship starts when you start dating me. Okay. Yeah, you just don't, it's a, you it's don't a real bonus. Yeah, it's hey, a real bonus. I, I somehow like the way that was phrased. The scholarship mm -hmm. begins when you start dating me. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. 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 Me. That's, that's well, how, that doesn't and, go the other way around. And if Shannon's listening to this, then nothing sounds more concrete <laughs> than that statement right there. <laughs> nothing sounds more solid yeah, than the absolutely. scholarship begins with. Yes. So uh, I, uh, go ahead. So finish your she, thought. I'm sorry. Was looking for an organic chemistry tutor, and how much do you think a tutor these days costs for uh, not even a graduate level, but an undergrad level organic chemistry class? I know what it costs for an elementary kid. What does it cost? It's I don't, so I'll guess twenty five dollars an hour. Twenty five to thirty an hour is very, very appropriate. I think that that's appropriate, right? Okay, yeah. I believe that I've uh, looked at some tutors, and and even for my graduate level classes, it's mm -hmm. uh, anywhere from fifty to a hundred dollars. An hour? An hour, right? Wow. We are yes. in the wrong business. That's graduate. That's business school, right? Yeah, We've yeah, never yeah, done yeah, that. Yeah. We're, we're too yeah, dumb so to Yeah, so 50 bucks is a guy I'd probably take and pay money to, right? Okay. 
this organic chemistry tutor, the only one, top of the line, apparently the one that'll get you through the class, is $190 an hour. Yes. What? $190. Now, For, oh, Jesus. As they say on the prices, right? That's too much. Man, that's ridiculous. That is. That's, I mean, that, take that $190 and enjoy some of your newfound D.C. organic chemistry <laughs> they, that just became legal today. I think that's a wonderful Two idea. Two ounces. Yes. Two ounces. But that's more than Are some you, programmers get paid an hour, right? Wait a minute. Did you did you research this? To, I were did there other it. guys? I did. Uh, th this person was the only one that was probably the right one. And again, it's supply and demand. If you're the only person that's co concentrating on this topic, you get to charge what you he want. He can write his own yes. ticket. Yeah. So no, well, lady, I mean, I, I would get, I would venture to say, if you're paying that much yeah. for the tutor, I would hope that the, the uh, tutor would stay all night. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in Florida, uh, but uh, but in the DC, textbook is on the nightstand. In the DC area, <laughs> uh, they charge one ninety, and uh, she came to me, and clearly when she came to me, it wasn't, hey, should I do this? It was, hey. Can you help me here, right? And I, hate, I said, I hate to ask this. Yeah. When you pay this guy, or when anyone pays this guy, is there a tip too? There's no tip. Thank There's God. No tip. Thank so, God. Jesus I said, of tip. course, it's for edu your education. Get through this class. One I, hour. I, I can't imagine. Yes. And to to the tutor's credit, you get a packet with. I've never had this with a tutor that gives you all these worksheets of what you need to know for an upcoming exam, right? I should hope so. Yeah, so you get like a packet, like a real packet. Yeah. That says, okay, this oh, well, is I'd what like you a would need. I hope it would have some gum in it. <laughs> but I was shocked because most- I would most, hope it would be like an Oscar swag most bag. Most tutors just yeah. help you, and then you you try to walk away with whatever you've written down. Yeah, you bring so, your textbook, yeah, exactly. and they help you out. Right. Um, so she Anything came, like an I, iTunes gift card? Or nothing, nothing like that. that. No, nothing right. like that. So we're Shit. done. Day of beauty behind the this red door. This was <laughs> this past uh, Friday that this happened. This past Friday. So I Have you know, met this tutor? I haven't met him. It's a her. Uh, it's paid, a lady. Pay, yeah, paid the person, uh, and she only takes credit cards. What? She's, she's good to go. A and woman? Yes, a woman. <laughs> <laughs> a woman in, a, a woman in an education role? What? <laughs> I don't understand. No, that's a, of course, uh, so, a woman tutor. I, I pay no big deal. Don't even bat my eyes and say, this is for you. Your education is important, right? When did she see the tutor for the first on time? On Friday. Yes. The tutor's here. Uh, Oscar, get the door, will you please? Thank you very much. Okay. Hi, how are you? Nice to see you, lady. I was going to play some music, but it's not working. <laughs> Mike, course, it wouldn't have worked yeah. either way because she doesn't come to you. You have to go meet her. Naturally. Right? Oh, wow. So uh, you go there. And then uh, I get, she comes back. She says, okay, she says that if I really want to excel this course, I need to see her at least uh, twice a month. So then I'm thinking. Uh, let me ask you this. Yes. Are you using the word tutor when it's maybe more like a workshop? No, my, uh, and, and it's an hour of tutoring. That's all it one is. One hour of tutoring. Yes. And that, now, does she claim with that one hour of tutoring that Shannon may be on her way and she will yes. be taken care of? Yes. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah so but that's twice a month, that's like a car payment. It's a car payment, right? Right. But I agree to it because I'm a good guy. I say, if that's what you need, you got another Bravo. semester, we're going to go Bravo. three months with this, and you're done. You're done in May, right? Mm -hmm. It hurts. It's painful. But I, that's what my parents did for me, and I, it helped me out a lot when I was a young man. Sure. And, I, and it's for the greater good. Yeah. Well, the two-income family will be necessary when you're to be, uh, you know, providing uh, that uh, money to your various uh, borrower lenders you know, for your, <laughs> your incredibly exorbitant uh, business degree and paying that, uh, you know, 70% interest rate that you have to get on that So $2. That's right. When he establishes his Oscar Santana's Kiss My Bumper lending agent. Take an account <laughs> that I just took, I took some personal loans for my own education because right. I'm paying it. No, you know, it's not a corporate uh, expense. I am paying it on my own way. Mm -hmm. And right. so I have these expenses, but I said, this is for school. We're going to figure this out. Uh, and that happened this past week. Then yesterday she comes to me and says, hey, my br little brother's graduating from Arizona State University. It's on the 15th of May. Uh, we should all go. And I said, she invited me to the graduation. Well, that's nice. And I said, I looked at the education calendar. I have class that weekend. I can't go. I'm sorry. Can't be moved. Yeah. So she circles mm. back around like a uh, like a like a, a commercial airliner coming back for a landing. Sure. And she circles the room, comes right back, and she goes, Hey, do you have any Southwest points? And I said, Oh, oh. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> this is where we have a problem. You know, sometimes scholarships don't cover, say, a room and board. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> this scholarship does not cover air travel. And I said, <laughs> oh, I said Shannon, yeah, let's do some, some uh, Oscar Santana math here. Right? Nice. Uh, I just signed off on your tutor for the next three months.
I paid the initial one hundred ninety dollars. Mm-hmm. You work for a living. I know you have a certain amount of expenses, but you don't have the expenses of this wonderful light that's shining on us. This wonderful. Uh, Talk about the electric bill. Seven hundred, yeah, yes. seven hundred square foot. Uh, uh, let's get to the chase. Are you, are you telling her no? I'm telling her no, but I'm also telling her oh, I don't Shannon. appreciate that she invited me to go to the graduation, <laughs> but what she, was, she, what she was really doing was inviting me to pay to, to go to the graduation. Oh. Yes. Wanted you to bankroll. Yes. Oh. Bankroll. <laughs> Shannon. Yes. <laughs> Yoga. Man, oh, man. You know when you, ca- when you probably catch your kids in, a, in like just a lie or a really effed up situation, it's like they stop in their tracks? Yeah. That's what happened, or like it was just no rebuttal. It was nothing. It was just quiet. <laughs> and I said, and, my, and mind you, Mike, it's ele- it's eleven forty-five, and I'm doing work. Like I am, I am studying, working right. there. It's not like I'm in bed hanging out. I am in the kitchen working. Right. We I- interrupt this story for a news bulletin. A man in Glover Park, Washington D.C., was found murdered in his bed. <laughs> Stabbed, stabbed with a letter opener. The man identified as Oscar Santana. When asked for comment, Shannon said he just wouldn't do anything for me. <laughs> All that, I wanted was, was his points. All I wanted was his points. Oh, no, Sorry. It's a slippery slope. If I don't have enough points, then she's going to need money for the flight. Exactly. That's what it is. How, it's right. like I tried to use your points, but now it's going to cost you money. Question. How much do you think she knew before she invited you that you couldn't make the trip? Um, because it's a one in two chance. The calendar's on the fridge. Oh, so she knew. <laughs> I don't know that for the sure. The calendar's on the fridge, right under lumber sexual. <laughs> <laughs> so I woke up this morning, yes. and this is where you can win, boys and girls at home. Remember this: when you wake up and you feel a little guilty about that situation, stick to your guns. Right. Because without any sort of real control. And boundaries, <laughs> there is chaos. This, this is real philosophy, folks. Yeah. This is his real and philosophy. My, it works in my house. <laughs> <laughs> we will take a break. It doesn't work in Remember any those. house. <laughs> he just doesn't know it yet. <laughs> anyway, we'll take a break and uh, come back with more fun and more thrills on the Michael Mara Show. Take a full, full truth and you pull some out. Do you talk C++? Yeah! Nice. Can you tell that into port 25 and fake an email? Mm. Can I? Do you like to surf the back plane of a router? Yes, I do. Have you ever hex edited your way to a registered version? Sounds sexy. We're not going to be talking about any of those things, but what will we be talking about, Oscar? It's technology and the way it affects your life. Oh, and yeah. we're going to be combining a lot of entertainment. It's going to be a good time. This is not your father's tech show. On the Tech 401 Show, available on the More Broadcasting Network and on iTunes. That means it's good, so please check it out. Oh, that wasn't so bad. It's been worse. <laughs> yeah. They're going to record new promos tomorrow. That's what I said. Anyway, <laughs> welcome back to the Mike Lamara Show. Right now at Vistaprint.com, you can get 500 business cards for just $9.99 when you enter promo code TMOS at checkout. Uh, I was stunned the very first time I heard the uh, prices at yes. Vistaprint. I still think it's one of the greatest deals online. 500 business cards for $9.99. Vistaprint makes it fun and easy to create a card that's right for you. If I can do it, ladies and gentlemen, you can do it. And you can do your own graphic design. We've all made cards at Vistaprint, and they always turn out great. You can upgrade to their signature stock, a fancy finish, or even raised print to have the Patrick Bateman kind of card that you've always wanted. Silly Vistaprint. Braille. <laughs> Cillian Braille. That's bone. And the text is Cillian Braille. Uh, Vistaprint also has everything from marketing materials to custom apparel, and all of it is 100% guaranteed. If you're not happy, Vistaprint will make it right with 500 business cards on sale for just $9.99. There's never been a better time to professionally promote your business. Just visit Vistaprint.com and use promo code TMOS to get this incredible offer. I love business, uh, business doing business with Vistaprint, and you will too. Use. Book publishers at Fox News Channel and the book publishers of his book, I should say, Bill O'Reilly, say they stand behind his work despite questions that have been raised about his reporting. O'Reilly's series of books about the deaths of John F. Kennedy, Abraham Lincoln, and Jesus Christ. Sorry to laugh at that, but the it big makes three, me laugh. as he calls them, they have sold <laughs> millions of copies and uh, been turned into successful movies for the National Geographic Channel. The latest apt adaptation, Killing Jesus, is set to premiere on Palm Sunday. Bill O'Reilly makes terrific. Me laugh. 
Yeah. Uh, John yeah. Stewart was defending him, saying, you know, Bill O'Reilly is not about the truth. And why are we making such a big yeah. deal about him bloviating? Because he's a blow. How do you and... fact check Jesus dying? Yeah. Check. Well, there's a book. Oh. There's a book. Well, uh, <laughs> yeah, that book is accurate, I'm sure. The liberal watchdog Media Matters uh, for America this week reported on a 2013 online post that questioned O'Reilly's claim that in 1977, they're really trying to get yeah. this guy, he was outside the Florida home of a guy named George de Morinschild, a friend of Kennedy assassin Lee Harvey Oswald, when he killed himself with a shotgun. De Morinschild had uh, been contacted by the congressional investigators looking into the assassination. So I have no idea. Uh, but, uh, you know, I think really His it's Bill O'Reilly. of this BS firing Yeah, it really people. is BS. Yeah, I because think it's silly. they forgot or they misremembered or they thought they were in a chopper. Uh, a everybody hand. trying to get everybody yeah. else. Why don't we just all get smarter oh, and get and really just get rid of the— get your own. Get yeah, your and, own. And get some of the dumb people off TV. Yeah, okay? and buy I your own we, plane tickets. Yeah, yeah. come on. <laughs> here we, that was a joke. Speaking a of uh, brilliant people, here we go again. Donald Trump says he's thinking about running for president. Right. And this time, like every other time, he claims he's more serious <laughs> than ever. He's been hiring staff in key primary states, and he even put off signing up for another season of Celebrity Apprentice. That's a big deal. There I am, Donald Trump. Thank Hi, you. Hi, Mike. I'm not doing the show next year. Here's his quote. <laughs> Everybody feels I'm doing this just to have fun or because it's too good for the brand. Well, it's not fun. I'm not doing this for enjoyment. I'm doing this because the country is in serious trouble. Boo. It would look for business. It would make sense if he became president. It would be fun. for his business. The oh, access, for his business, oh, yes, can, not for the country. No, but business. he can dictate policy. It would yeah. be fun. And you know, I actually I supported Perot. So what am I? Did I you? Of, yeah, I thought it was oh a really God. cool you idea know, back then. I was so like it just asked, just dumb when it came to it. When a Perot came on, I thought he was the Purdue uh, chicken guy. Oh, you thought I thought, Frank Perdue. Yeah, I thought he was Frank Perdue as a little kid, and I'd be like, oh, my God, the chicken guy's running for president. <laughs> yeah, Ross Perot, and then you have uh, Frank Perdue and Jimmy Dean. Have them all in the White House. Be great. <laughs> uh, here are eight celebrities who became a grandparent by age 45. I thought this was a fun list. Cool. Uh, Priscilla Presley. Okay, you, that did makes sense. Did you know sense. that? Well, that's Real Housewife of Atlanta. I don't give, give a rat's ass about them. Uh, Sarah Palin was 44 Hot. when uh, Bristol gave birth to Trip. Michelle and Jim Bob Duggar. Doesn't count. No. Thank you very much. Uh, Brett Favre was 40 when his 21-year-old daughter had a baby boy. I didn't know that. Oh, uh, that's nice. This is kind of a cheat, but CeeLo Green was 35 when his 20-year-old stepdaughter gave birth to us. That doesn't count. It doesn't count. That doesn't uh, It was on Whoopi Goldberg's 41st birthday that her daughter Alex had a baby girl. Last year, Whoopi became a great-grandmother when that girl had a daughter of her own. Whoopi is 59. I didn't Aww. even know that Whoopi had kids. And here's a new uh, here's a new name. Yeah, Mama June Shannon oh, from Here f- Comes Honey Boo Boo. <laughs> That's her full given Christian Mama name. Mama June Shannon. I yes, love is. to eat skinny. <laughs> I do. And where is my pedophile boyfriend? Uh, she was 32 when her daughter Anna Chickadee Shannon. Had a baby girl at age 18. Isn't that? That's probably the whole reason I put the story Fill in there. Fill out the paperwork. We are going to get a check. <laughs> oh, no. uh, Madonna got the, uh, Madonna fell. We already talked that's about right. it. So uh, that's all there is to it. It's now been 52 years since Peter, Paul, and Mary released uh, Puff the Magic Dragon in 1963. And I thought with the uh, legalization of uh, recreational use of marijuana in the District of Columbia, it would be a good day for this story. The song... Uh, uh, Puff the Magic Dragon is uh, based on a poem yes. by Leonard Lipton, and he still swears mm. that Puff is completely innocent. Not here, true. Here is his quote. A song for little kids that advocates the use of drugs would not be appropriate. Advocating marijuana for little kids is not a good thing. My poem was directly inspired by an Ogden Nash poem called A Tale of Custard the Dragon. Pirates and dragons back then were common interests in stories for boys, so he says it's not true. The Puff story is really uh, just a lot like Peter Pan, but we all know that Peter Pan was always high. <laughs> I met Peter, Paul, and Mary. And, you did? Uh, yeah, Mary was nice, and 
Paul was nice, and Peter was that was, Paul Stuckey? Yeah, and, and and Peter was really drunk and handsy with all the women. Oh, it was really <laughs> bad. It was a wolf trap. Uh, do you? I don't know. That's the originator of the poem, though. So I mean, that's the guy that wrote it. What do you think? I, I think, think it's. Be I think that's BS. I mean, Puff the magic dragon. Come on, so called Bong the magic dragon. Exactly. <laughs> two ounces. Magic. Two ounces. The magic dragon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Considering the ungodly amount of calories we consume on a daily basis, we're really efficient getting them down. A new survey found the average person spends forty-one minutes a day eating their meals. Oh, this surprised wow. me a little bit. That seems Here's low. how that breaks yeah. down: eight minutes for breakfast. 13 minutes and 45 seconds for lunch, and 19 minutes and 27 seconds for dinner. You know, we, we are s- rushing so much more to get to yeah. the next thing. Yeah, and, and I think if you're not going out, but if you're not going out socially, I think you scarf it down. Yeah. I do. I yeah. think everybody does. Like your that. breakfast this morning, that. think about it. It probably took me four minutes just for the bowl of cereal. That's yeah, it. that's yeah. about right. And, and right? that's most people. People between 25 and 44 spend less time eating, as Oscar would back up, just 36 total minutes. The survey also found 16% of us eat breakfast at our desks, 30% have lunch there, and 4% do dinner there. Wow. And uh, uh, we do not fall into that what survey about in because. The bedroom? None of us have that <laughs> on my chest. Yes, <laughs> a whopping 1.5 percent of Americans eat their meals on their stomach. <laughs> Thank you very much. Tonight on the Food Network, it's called right. chest steak. Chest steak. Salad Thank you. King size. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I got some lettuce in my navel. Anyway, moving right along. A little something, something. Who would have guessed that a floating strip club? Might not be the most sanitary place to hang out. Oh, 54-year-old Darren Byler of <laughs> Kodiak, Alaska, and his 46-year-old wife, Kimberly, she's lovely, they own the Wild Alaskan. Yes, they do. <laughs> a former crabbing boat. <laughs> Interesting oh, that it's no. a crabbing boat that's been converted into a floating bar and strip club. Bingo. Uh, the, the joint's done quite well, but now they're in big trouble. The Coast Guard caught them uh, dumping feces from their bathrooms into the harbor instead of taking their waste tanks to the proper places to shore uh, where they dumped them. They were indicted and could face up to a year in jail. Man. But it gets worse. Oh, how the, could it? The Coast Guard says they lied about dumping the tanks and that they're convicted of making false statements to the Coast Guard investigators. That could get them both five years in prison and $250,000 in fines. Bad. If you happen to fish that harbor, it kind of gives new meaning to the term deadliest catch. Am I right, ladies? Thanks a lot. Hey, I caught a turd. I caught a turd. Oh, God. I caught a turd. Oh, look at this. My God. Blind eel. (laughs) Blind eel. We'll take a break and come back with the audio vault right here on the Mike O'Mara Show. It's Tony and Gary. Hi, I'm Tony. I'll be Gary. On the current episode of our show, I try to stump Gary with movie trivia. That's not going to be easy. It's not easy. You're amazing. you got to check it out. Also, Bill Weir from CNN. Funny. And Rock <laughs> Ward goes on a date. <laughs> it's all on the new episode. Check us out at TonyPerkinsShow.com. The Tony Perkins Show. Way to go, Stein. Welcome back to the uh, Mike O'Mara Show. Make no mistake, spring is right around the corner, and springtime is the best time to visit Las Vegas and get the best deals. Uh, We love Vegas.com, and uh, we want our listeners to take advantage of Vegas.com for their next trip out to Las Vegas. Whether it's spring break, March Madness, any of your vacations you have planned, go to Vegas.com. They are all local Vegas people. They know Vegas. They party in Vegas. They know the people that set the deals. So the moment prices drop, Vegas.com drops them on their site. They are plugged in, and that's all it's about out in Las Mm -hmm. Vegas. They save you money on all the hot headliner shows, tours, attractions, VIP bottle service at the top clubs. You will get the lowest rate on your hotel. If your hotel rate drops after you book it, they tell you so you can rebook, and then they refund the difference at Vegas.com. You've got the best price guarantee even after you've paid, and that is worth everything. Yep. Go to Vegas.com right now, click on the microphone in the upper right-hand corner, and enter the code TMOS to receive an extra 10% off everything but air hotel packages. That's Vegas.com. Click on the microphone and get your bonus savings by using secret code TMOS and do it today. Thanks, Vegas.com. Love Let's it. open up the audio vault for Thursday, Feb 26, 2015, everybody. Oh, Madge. That's Madonna. 
That's what oh, we call Madonna. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Madge. We call her yes. Madge. She was at the Brit Awards, which is the British version of the Grammys. Mm -hmm. We mentioned that she fell. We actually have the audio that was carried by the uh, television network. I guess it was on the BBC in Great right. Britain. She actually appeared to really be singing because when she fell, the vocal oh. track dropped out. But check it out. Here's Madonna falling at the awards. <laughs> And then she gets up. She's a trooper. She is. And you know what? I had the true pleasure of Matt Bloom had not seen it yet. And I got to watch him watch it this morning. <laughs> and his mouth was agape. And his hand clasped over his jaw. Because it's mm -hmm. a nasty I fall. I like the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, <laughs> so natural. Now, luckily, Mike. It wasn't like Rob Spiewak, who also covered his mouth, but that was to stifle a laugh. <laughs> now, Mike, luckily, I happened to have a second microphone at the event <laughs> last night. You did it already. Yeah. Great minds think alike. So, I, uh, I shouldn't have even had to ask let's, for uh, it. Let's go in here. What the, this is what it sounded okay. like from the stage. <laughs> this is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> so that was that was a different take. Now a lot of people don't remember my Mike. God. Do you remember the live aid? Do you remember Madonna took oh, a nasty fall? I just reacted to that last one. Can you play that last yeah, one? Yeah, let's one do that one more time, time please. 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 I've fallen and I can't get up. So we wish her the dumb. best. Now, Live Aid, which I think was 1984, Madonna had a nasty fall there as well. So. <laughs> so, we wish her a speedy recovery. <laughs> And because I got no less than three dozen requests, people want to know how Meatloaf is doing. As you know, <laughs> this is exactly what I wanted out of the audience. Meatloaf uh, had a, he collapsed on stage, I believe, in the late 1960s. And <laughs> this is a tape from that event. Let me sleep on it, baby, baby, let me sleep on it. <laughs> <laughs> the smattering of applause. Oh so, boy! Uh, we wish uh, her and a how speedy foolish! Recovery. How my apologies to you for saying in the body of the show that we need to do this. Of course, he was all over it. Of course, he <laughs> yeah, was. This happened before we went to bed last night, Mike. Oh my uh, God! Did, now, oh. did you watch the Goldbergs? Do you ever watch the show? <laughs> oh, the I love Goldbergs? the show. The Goldbergs. I started watching because Pat Oswalt is the narrator. It's kind of like it's a, a 1980s Wonder Years. Yes, it's a fun show, Mike. You would like it. And what's all right, really I'll check cool it out. That's they good. incorporate. Uh, actual video from this guy's childhood yeah. into the show. It's also great. I love Jeff Garland, Wendy McClendon Covey. The mom? Yeah, she's yeah, very she's great. funny. But they did a really solid Ferris Bueller homage episode last okay. night. And I was shocked that at the end, the sister is in a police station and Charlie Sheen is in there recreating his role. Here's Charlie Sheen's scene last night from the Goldbergs on ABC. Drugs? Thank you. No, I'm good. No, I meant... Are you in here for drugs? No. Why are you here? Drugs. <laughs> so you can tell me your story or what? In a nutshell, I hate my brothers. You want to spend more time worrying about yourself and less time worrying about your brother. All right. You're free to go. It's about time. Feels like I've been sitting here for 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> it was definitely worth a And watch. he looks like he's like... What, 45? Oh, 100. <laughs> yeah, but, 40, but it's like the same outfit from, yeah. like, he's wearing everything the same. Well, you know what? With his choice of narcotics, yeah, he uh, uh, fortunately hasn't gained a lot of weight. No, he Good looks skinny. Yeah. He's very thin. Uh, yes, that he is. is. That is a funny show. George Siegel's in it. You should check it out. Uh, All right. Oscar, good news for you. Three cartoons from your youth are being rebooted. Ooh. From the Disney Channel, coming, I believe, next year. I know it's one of your favorites. Oh, yeah. Ooh. I know exactly what this is. Will you sing along, please? Life is like an arrow. Oh, no. There in Duckburg. This is an airplane. Here in Duckburg. Oh, okay. Oscar was, was the, the, hoping, the little latchkey kid that watched all the cartoons. Hoping for so much Duck more. DuckTales. Duck coming yes. back on the Disney Channel. He knows it. I was learning English at that point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mike. Duckatail. Mike, at that point. <laughs>
<laughs> he was learning point. English. Yeah, he mastered it finally. <laughs> um, Netflix is doing two shows, one of which Wait, I was, when's that coming back? That's in a year and a half for oh. DuckTales. But uh, Netflix is bringing back Inspector Gadget. Ooh. Oh which I was on yeah. the tail end of the Inspector Gadget I, thing. None of these I uh, had I anything to do with. I had a crush on Penny. Oh, yeah. Who and didn't? also, you would love Inspector Gadget. He was voiced by Don Adams. Don Adams. <laughs> That's right. Uh, yeah, missed it by Dr. that Claw. much. Oh, it's scary. Yeah, scary. Now, one show I don't remember, Oscar, this is also on Netflix. Do you remember a show called Danger Mouse? Oh, Danger Mouse was in my guy. Pony? I remember it, but not much of it. It was like right when I was really, really... Well, then you know what? We get to blow it up. There you go. Screw it. But I do put that on the heels of the uh, the Power Rangers thing we did yesterday. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is four things from the 80s and Reboots. 90s coming back. back. Reboots are coming back. Well, because yeah. that's really unusual in Hollywood, that they're actually making <laughs> things that used to exist. All right. Oh, we talked about Bill O'Reilly. Here's something Bill O'Reilly said in December 2012. My mother, for example, doesn't understand evil. When I would tell her, hey mom, I was in El Salvador and I saw nuns get shot in the back of the head. She almost couldn't process it. So in December 2012, he saw the nuns get shot. But in September 2009... Because these nuns had been slaughtered in El Salvador and I was down there right after that. They shot like a dozen, killed a dozen nuns. So he didn't make it in 2009. I, I, I hate this, and I hate to do this because a lot of people get pissed off, but I have to be with my, uh, uh, you know, one, a guy that I really admire, John Stewart. I think that you're chasing after O'Reilly, and, and O'Reilly bloviates. He, he flaps his gums, and I don't think he is uh, a credible guy anyway that we have to hold him to the same standard. It's I think he's a commentator. If you sell mugs and bookmarks and yes. you're, like, you're just not that And guy. to be honest, I said to my mother, I saw nuns get, you can make that figure of speech when you're talking about you were down there covering that story. And, and you know, Mike, you, you, I think you, you're you, skewed because you were his roommate. <laughs> at Maris College. That's your magic <laughs> audio book. Have a safe and dry Thursday, everybody. Very good. And uh, sorry about Madonna falling. That's, That's a shame, really isn't terrible. it? <laughs> That's it. Another Mike O'Mara show has come and gone. Be sure and join us again for more fun and more thrills at MikeOmaraShow.com. If you want to correspond with us, send a package or a letter to TMOS, Box 2796, Leesburg, Virginia, 20177. And to get a birthday request or any message on the mailbag for Wednesday, Rob with two Bs at MikeOmaraShow.com. Tell the world about TMOS so they can get it too. For Rob Spiewak and Oscar Santana, Michael Barra inviting you to join us again for another episode of the Michael Barra Show. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. Ciao, ciao. Whoa, 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 wait, don't go. I need to tell you that MichaelMarraShow.com slash Amazon is perfect for all your online shopping needs. Shop the best way. Shop Amazon. And please go to our website, always open at MichaelMarraShow.com slash Amazon. Michael Mella, Radio Entertainment. <laughs>